Hi there, welcome to another video of the open source development with Happy Mentor series. This is part five, and we're gonna be talking about how to build your own personal companion, which is the app that you can use uh, through the Wi Fi to develop with Happy Mentor. So, we are gonna do two things here building a companion app for development when you are creating new components and things like that and also building an, uh, a companion app for an older version of App Inventor. So I'll explain why you, want, you would want to do that and all that in, uh, in the video. So let's get started. Uh, this is the App Inventor directory and we can see here that it, there is a project called AI Play App, App Inventor Play App. And if you have a look inside, it actually will look uh, familiar because it has an assets folder and a young Android project uh, folder and a source folder and if you look into the source folder um, you will see that it actually has in a screen one blocks file and a scheme file and a Yale file so this is this is really an app inventor app so this is used as a template for uh, for the companion so if you have a look at the at, at the main build.xml file you will find a target called play app you can see it here and uh, if we use this target um, for a month uh, it's going to create uh, an apk for uh, an apk for us uh, so let me just try that uh, play app and off it goes. It's going to compile the stuff and create the APK for us. Why do we need to do this? Um, we need to do this because the companion app has all the blocks, all the possible blocks that the system has. It has them inside. So if you're creating a new component, and uh, with obviously we'll obviously have uh, new blocks. Uh, those blocks are not going to be in the companion app that MIT um, releases which each of the uh, distributes with each of the releases so for development purposes you're gonna have to create your own app uh, so as you can see here the build is successful if you if you want to find where the app is you can do a just to find uh, by the uh, extension and we can see here that it's um, it's been built in build uh, build server MIT AI companion. Uh, now with this, if I had ADB in this folder, I could do something like ADB install uh, that APK, and that is going to send the APK to to the phone. Just uh, make sure that before installing with ADB, you uninstall any other. Um, companion apps that you have in the phone because uh, because we are doing this in development so the keys to sign this apps uh, the key to sign this app is going to be different from the key that um, the distributed app uh, by MIT has so uh, don't let the phone get confused just uninstall manually the companion and install this one so that is all that you need to create your uh, own companion with your new component if you are building a new component or changing one of the existing components. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to show is uh, how to build a companion for an old, older version of App Inventor. So uh, for instance say that you want to build uh, we're in version 134 right now uh, say that you want to build the companion that MIT released with or distributed with uh, 133. So if you have a look at the uh, App Inventor Sources repository in GitHub, you will see this tags link in here. So if you click on the tags, you can see that uh, for every version, uh, there's going to be at least one tag. There might be more tags, but uh, for instance, for 133, uh, there is a tag in there. So we're gonna use Git to revert to the state that uh, uh, 133 was at the time that it was released and we are going to build the um, the companion for that. So to do that you just have to make sure that 
you are in master let me see if I do git branch I am in master now and I just have to make sure that uh, that git is clean uh, so what I'm going to do here is revert to this tag here which is called v133 and all I have to do to do that is uh, git checkout um, v133 and git is going to say weird things like uh, you are in detached head state now so this basically means that you are not in any branch actually if you do uh, git branch it's going to tell you that you are in no branch but don't worry about it the the thing to to know here is that head uh, which is all the commits that you have right now um, is at the point where uh, that it was when 133 was released so now if we uh, what we should do here uh, to create the the app is just uh, make sure that you clean and then you just build the whole thing and then use again um, being uh, and play app to create the APK uh, I'm not going to do this because it's going to take three or four minutes so I I'm just going to control C in there but again you can use the find command uh, to see where the guy is and it's going to put it in the same place so now you can uninstall the other guy and again do adb install of my uh, new apk uh, and that's that's basically all you have to do so uh, to go back to uh, master uh, we don't have to do anything just simply uh, check out master so if we git check out master and we have a look at the branches uh, it's going to say that we are again in master and uh, we are back to normal we are back to we are back to the most up-to-date commit uh, in the in the repository and that is all for now uh, i'll catch you in the next one bye bye